Before you proceed to train the model, you need to download default weights. Default weights will be used as a starting point for training your model. Please execute following commands in the same order. First, launch command prompt window. Then, cd to the root directory of the Easy Computer Vision platform. For that, type in cd, then space, then drag and drop directory into command prompt, and press enter. You might be given a list of options. Select paste location to paste a path to the directory into console. Next, copy the command that you see on your screen right now, and press enter key on your keyboard. You have to be connected to the internet for default weights to be downloaded. Default weights file will be saved into the path displayed on the screen. Config pretty much contains all parameters required to create a DNN network. You can, however, leave them as they are. The only parameters you must update are the ones that point training pipeline to the training and validation datasets. When labeling data, rec label generated annotations.json file, which contains all metadata with X and Y coordinates for all labeled objects on the image. You will need to specify an absolute path to annotations.json for training and validation datasets. You will also need to specify path to the directory of images, which you were labeling. Config parameters that contain the paths are training annotations file, training images dir, validation annotations file, validation images dir. The rest of the parameters, if you understand what they are, you could also modify. If you do not understand what they are yet, no worries, just specify paths to datasets as explained above and start the training. Parameters that are already in place for the rest of the parameters in the config file are enough for you to train a model that will produce accurate results. Let's update paths to the annotations metadata file and images together. From previous steps, you already know how to find out the path to a given file or directory. For that, first, launch command prompt window. Then, drag and drop images directory into command prompt. You might be given a list of options. Select paste location to paste a path to the directory into console. You will see the path to your image directory appear in the console. Copy it and paste it under training images dir and validation images dir keys in the config file. You probably ask yourself a question. How come we just copied the same path for training and validation sets to use as part of model training? To achieve best accuracy, it is recommended to use images for training that are different from those that are used for validation. You, however, could perfectly use the same images and model will also train. You might face so-called model overfitting. It is when model memorizes images it is given and performs poorly on the images that are similar but not identical. To avoid overfitting, please use different image sets. However, for the sake of this tutorial, we will use the same set of images. It will still work. Let's now update paths to annotations metadata files. First, launch command prompt window. Then, drag and drop annotations.json file into command prompt. You might be given a list of options. Select paste location to paste a path to the directory into console. You will see the path to your annotations.json file appear in the console. Copy it and paste it under training annotations file and validation annotations file keys in the config file. Since we are using the same set of images, the annotation file that contains metadata with coordinates to all annotations for those images is also the same. To start a training of your model, please execute following two commands in the same order. First, launch command prompt window. Then, cd to the root directory of the Easy Computer Vision platform. For that, type in cd, then space, then drag and drop directory into command prompt and press enter. You might be given a list of options. Select paste location to paste a path to the directory into console. Next, copy the command that you see on your screen right now and press enter key on your keyboard. If training has started successfully, you will see logs running in your command prompt window. If you received an error, please go back to the tutorial where we explained how to install required modules, in other words, required libraries. We have tutorials that explain how to install required modules on Linux, Mac OS, and Microsoft Windows. It is crucial to have modules of specific versions to run this platform. Having a different version installed of any given module could cause an error, which will prevent easy computer vision from running. If your logs are running, just as my logs right now, and you can see the progress bar for each epoch trained, 
It means that training is running smoothly. I will now pause here and return when training has completed. Okay, training has completed and generated multiple model files for us. Config is set to run for 300 epochs. That means when 300 epochs have completed training, process will automatically stop. In the real life scenario, you would want to train a model while accuracy is continuing to climb up and loss is continuing to go down. At the point when accuracy and loss reverse their direction, when accuracy starts to go back down and loss starts to go back up, is when the training passed its model conversion point. Researching further, please dig into understanding the difference between the underfitting and overfitting of the model. The conversion point of the model is when the model is expected to produce the best accuracy result. It is exactly in between the underfitting and overfitting. Underfitting is when the model continues to learn but is not yet memorizing the exact data it is given to learn from. Models should just learn enough about that data so it could generalize enough to find objects and other data that is not exactly the same. Overfitting is when model memorizes data too much to the point when it starts looking for an exact match to the data that it learned from and that is the reason why the accuracy starts to go down and loss starts to go up. Conversion point is right in between. I will stop here and let you read more on this topic on your own. For now we have 300 epochs completed, which produced us 300 files of the model, and one of them is the best performing one. Which one is our golden egg model? Training pipeline will generate a model for each epoch. So for instance, if you train 100 epochs, you will have 100 model files with .h5 extensions stored in the path that is displayed right now on the screen. You will need to choose only one model that is expected to perform best. To help you with that choice, we prepared a log parser script that will parse through logs created while model was training and will generate similar information as you can see right now on the screen. The parameter lowest val underscore loss is at epoch 254 slash 450 points to the model dump generated at 254th epoch which would be your best performing model if you don't want to run additional tests. However, the best way to do it would be to take all models that script outputs and run predictions against all of them to test each model dump by running it through the actual predictions. Model, which would produce best actual prediction accuracies, would be your best performing model. You would need only one model, therefore the rest of the .h5 model files generated by the training pipeline could be deleted. Now how do we run the log parser script? By default, script will look for log files located in the path that you see on the screen right now. However, we added support for you to be able to pass your own absolute path to logs directory or to logs file. To run this script as default, first, cd to the root of the Easy Computer Vision platform. The same way we did previously, type in cd, then space, then drag and drop directory into command prompt and press enter. Then run the command that you see right now on the screen. This will grab all log files located in Easy Computer Vision Platform's log directory and output analysis for all log files into a console. If you would like to point script to a specific log file, please add a command line variable to the command that previously you have ran as part of the step two. Just as you can see on the screen right now, 